Hey y'all, welcome to Lacey Bow's Boutique. Today I'm going to show you how to make my Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And for those of you who watched my um, ribbon sculpture for the um, snowflake, the antlers on the reindeer are basically the same thing. But I'm going to run through and show you how to do it. When I was making the snowflake, I got two of them together and I thought, wow, those look like antlers. So, my version of Rudolph was born. So, I'm going to show you how to make him today. And here's your supply list. You're going to need 7 8 inch grosgrain ribbon. You're going to need one 3 and a half inch piece. Then, for a 3 8 inch grosgrain ribbon, you're going to need two 1 and a half inch pieces, four 1 inch pieces, and eight 3 quarter inch pieces. You'll need a simple small bow, which I have a tutorial for that. You can see that. I'll uh, try to remember to put a link for it. you need a pair of Google Eyes, and you will need a red jewel for the nose, depending on how big you want the nose to be. You can also see the written instructions for the simple small bow on my blog at LaceyBowsBoutique.com. But anyway, this is how we're going to do it. I hope the uh, metric measurements are correct, because I'm just using an online conversion. So, I know nothing about the metric system, but... There we go. Hope it's right. Let's get right to it. You're going to need a pair of tweezers, your glue gun, your um, hot glue, of course, and all that. Let me get the focus right here. I think that's about right at working height. Okay. So, to make the antlers, it's the same thing as the snowflake, but I'm going to run through it with you again. I've already made one antler, just to show you. Okay, so you're going to start off with a the one inch piece of ribbon, okay, and then you take a three quarter inch piece of ribbon, and you're going to glue it to the top right there, like that. Just make sure those ends are even. And make sure y'all have heat sealed all this stuff too. You don't want any fraying. Just put a little bit of glue along that top edge. You don't want to put a whole lot because we want it to bow out when we're finished. And if some glue pops out the end right there, just pick it off or something. Anyway, that's your one inch piece. This is your three quarter inch piece right here. Now you're going to turn the whole thing over and put another three-quarter inch piece on that end. Right there. The same way, just point in the other direction. Okay? And when you cut these, this is what drives me crazy about making the snowflakes. When you cut these ribbons, you want to make sure they're pretty straight. And when you're having to cut out tons and tons of them, it can get tiring. But... Anyway, if it's not perfectly straight across the end, you can always give it a little snip after, even after you've glued it together, just to straighten it out and then heat seal the end. So there's one piece right there. All right, and I call these the M pieces because they look like M's. Also be W's, whatever you want. So anyway, overview of that particular piece because this can get confusing. I know it can. That's one inch piece and then there's two three-quarter inch pieces. So you're going to do that with all of them, that you've got the, the four one-inch pieces and the eight three-quarter inch pieces. Okay, so now you're going to have two of these M pieces. Now we're going to take the one, one and a half inch piece, okay, and you take this M and open it up and glue the top of that three-quarter inch piece right to the top of that one and a half inch. Okay. So you fold that down, do the same thing, glue that across the top like that, and that doesn't seem to be heat sealed properly. Cut off that little strand. Okay, now you open the other side of that M piece, 
right there and glue the other side of it to the other end of that one and a half inch piece right here this is your one and a half inch piece this is your W or your M glue that other piece right there and when you make the snowflakes got to do five to six of these at least with the reindeer you only have to do two for the antlers okay now that's half of it okay again this middle part right here that is one and a half inch then this is one inch and then this is three quarter inch same thing over here open up that M or W piece you're going to do the same thing on the other side of that one and a half inch ribbon okay and my apologies to the lady that is impatient and thinks I go too slow I'm sorry the people that don't go slow enough I can't keep up with them on tutorials so if I'm not going fast enough I'm really sorry that's what the fast forward buttons for anyway same thing over at the other end open up that M glue it down there so it's gonna look like that one and a half inch piece right in the middle and just glue that up at the top and then you've got that now if you were making the snowflake you just leave it like that with those two pieces but for the antlers we want to glue those two middle pieces together right there so you just take it and kind of straighten it up how you want it then you're going to put a little bit of glue inside right in there just right in the center. You don't want to get too much because you don't want to glue too much of it down because these are so small anyway. A little bit on the other side. And then once you get them together like that, then you can take and just pinch it right in the middle, let it go up the way it wants to. Okay. Get it to pinch with your tweezers there. And then if too much of it closed up, can always just work it back out with the end of your tweezers like that. All right, so you're gonna do that process I just did twice, okay, to get this other antler. But since I've already got this, we're going to the next step. So now you decide how you want your antlers to look. <coughs> Excuse me. They may not be absolutely perfect, but they're gonna be cute anyway. Don't worry about that. So now we're gonna take the two ends right here. And glue them together. Now, if you were making the snowflake, you would totally not do this, but this isn't the snowflake. So, we're going to actually, you know what, it's probably easier to go ahead and glue the two um, flakes together. So, what you're going to do is you're going to take this piece and this piece and glue them together. Okay? So, you'll glue them face to face like this. Alright? If you go ahead, you can smush it all around. It's not going to hurt the shape of it or anything. Go ahead and get those two pieces glued together. Make it easier. Now, you would do this if you were making the snowflake. But you would not glue the bottom end like I'm fixing to do. This is for antlers only. Okay. Now, you've got that bottoms right there. You glue those two together. Now just glue the bottom. Go ahead and finish off gluing the bottom together. And you can glue it all the way up to those if you want. Just get it in there. You don't really have to just glue on the end right here. You want them to stick together. You don't want that little snowflake-like star shape in the middle. Okay. So you get those done. Now that's your antlers. All right. And to make them lay better onto the um, head that we're fixing to make, just take this bottom piece right here on the side, take some sharp scissors because there's several layers, and just give it an angle cut like this, 
And that'll help us to put the ribbon on it later and make it so it's not quite as thick. And then Kanzashi style, get it in there, heat seal it, and pinch it together so that you've still got your antlers like that. Okay? So there's your antlers. That's how those are made. We've set those aside for now. Now we're going to take and make the head real quick. All right, this is the easy part. You're just going to do an awareness fold, which is that fold right there. See, that would be an awareness. But we're going to back it up and just um, take and put this end along this edge right here. Okay? Right along that edge right there. Get it lined up perfect. We want really straight edges for this this particular time. Okay, get that in there. Glue it along that edge. And then along this edge right here. Right along there. Okay. And that was just an awareness fold. You can see this is actually the front side that we're going to be using for the face. It's right here. So you want to make sure your edge lined up there and your edge lined up here. You can always, you know, trim it up if some glue came out. Just trim it up along the edges. No problem. No worries. We're having fun. It's poking out on the end right there. So I'm going to make sure I got it glued all the way up. Alright. Now, it can help to have an unlined alligator clip right here so you can just hold it down. I'll show you. Again, this is the front where it folded around awareness style. Alright, so go on the back and flatten it down even along those edges and just grab it with the clip right there and that'll help us keep it in place. So I put a little bit of glue up inside these folds so that um, when we lay it flat his head will stay flat. So stick some glue just right along up in there and right along up in there and then pinch it down on both sides. Just make it stay. Okay. And there's the head. If you want to finish gluing down the back, you can. Just put a little bit of glue down in there. Make it lay completely flat. Okay. But this is the front side right here. Alright. Be sure and don't Make it so that you can still put your finger in right there. Don't be gluing those pieces down because that's where we're going to stick the antlers. So now, right now, and I have glue poking out, so a good way to get rid of that is to just go ahead and melt it right off. Get it hot again and then pull it off. And there we go. Now take your antlers and along that edge that we cut, you just slide that down in there and glue it right down in there in the top. Get some glue down in there. Slide those antlers straight down the middle until they won't slide down anymore. And then let them adhere. Okay. Now to cover up that, now all we got to do now is decorate. So I like to put the bow on first so that I know exactly where to put the eyes. Put some glue down that edge that we... Um, cut around a little bit right there lay that bow right there in the middle it's going to be at kind of an angle but that's okay and it's because of the way I make my antlers but that's all right the antlers are in the back so you laid that down now put on the nose right down here on the point My nose went in the trash. And there it is. Make sure the end point don't stick out the bottom. 
want it to be on the end. Now we know where to put the eyes. Tweezers help tremendously here at this step for handling these little eyes. Get them lined up where you think they ought to go. I got the idea to make Rudolph. My boyfriend is off deer hunting right now. I'm not a fan of hunting. I can't even hardly bring myself to kill a spider if I find it. I'll just pick it up and put it outside. The Kleenex. But I'm not a vegetarian, although I could be. So I guess I can't say anything about him hunting. But he hasn't caught anything yet. Ha <laughs> ha. There we go. All right. And there is Rudolph. Just put him on an alligator clip now, partially line that, put him on there, and there you go. Thank you so much for watching, and y'all be sure and check out LaceyBowsBoutique.com, you, where you can see the um, written instructions and still photographs for this um, tutorial and several of my others. It's a work in progress. L-A-C-E-Y-B-O-W-S. B-O-U-T-I-Q-U-E dot com. Thank y'all so much for watching and y'all have a great day.